and welcome to Reveille. Today's call to action is lead, lead, lead. Don't whine, whine, whine. Part three. Do you know the difference between leading and whining? I'll give you an easy example of a whiner, Donald Trump. A whiner uses lies and fear to mobilize his base, questions the veracity of anything said about him, even by people who work for him, considers every inquiry fake news or a hoax, prefers loyalty over competence, and surrounds himself by insecure people who make him feel like a leader. After his failure to get our secretaries of state and his own bunch to help him gather evidence that a high level of fraud had been committed in the 2016 election, he continued his search for some discovery that would enrage his base that relies on him for any information, factual or not. Well, not one to disappoint his base when it comes to misinformation. He was just handed another possibility that only bigots and idiots could believe. Remember that caravan of Central American immigrants who arrived last week seeking asylum? Well, Trump says they are just the first caravan of immigrants we can expect to arrive to vote in the November elections. He's using this lie to fire up his right-wing base. Well, Truth is, their lawyer advocates estimate that the process could take up to five years to complete, well after the 2018 and 2020 elections. So again, let's leave the lion to Trump, that pathological liar, and let's get on with the business of telling people the truth. Register to vote on November 6 and show the world that we do have leaders in this country and not just whiners like Donald Trump.